everybody welcome back and today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video I'm going to be doing a declutter video I usually don't it's not that I don't declutter but I don't generally declutter on camera because I just kind of do it on the fly and I just get rid of stuff or people are over here and they're like oh I'm like that and I'm like well here take this and then take this 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 and this too because you obviously like this type of thing and I don't so I do do declutter but I generally don't plan them out so this one I've been thinking about doing for a while so I'm gonna be decluttering some foundations mainly foundations maybe some powders I just decluttered my primers but I might be able to get a, you know away with decluttering a couple more just to you know kind of clean up my collection because I've really started to shift my taste in terms of foundations in particular so I thought it would be a good time to do this now you probably will never see me uh, declutter eyeshadow palettes unless it's a drugstore eyeshadow palette and that's just because I collect high-end eyeshadow palettes some people might say that's wasteful I really don't care because it's my collection of my money but I do uh, you know every now and then want to get in the habit of moving things out of my collection that I know are gonna go bad things like mascaras things like cream products that kind of thing cream eyeshadows things that things that don't have a longevity of powder products because I do keep my makeup in a cool dry place it's dark there's not direct sunlight on it so you know that's is what it is but if you want to see me declutter some of my foundations primers and powders then stick around all right everybody so this is the drawer in my five drawers where I keep my primer so like I said I did kind of do a vicious just on the fly declutter a couple of months ago but I'm sure there are some things in here that I could get rid of so first off let me look at this this is an elf BB cream in this one says it is in fair. Let's see. I haven't, I think I've used this once. Kind of keep my primers and BB creams in here. I think I'm going to hold on to that just because it is relatively new and I haven't really given it a good shot. So I'm going to put more stuff in here. I'm going to do um, all of Shanna XO and just take everything out and then go from there. So the BB cream from e.l.f. is staying. Another BB cream that I do really like but probably should get rid of is this BB cream. It's really just a tinted moisturizer. It's from, let me see, this one is old but let me see, this is actually the BB cream from CoverGirl. This is their CG Smoothers. It still smells okay. Um, I have used this recently and it is fine. I do like this because it has SPF in it, but it does... I think I'm gonna hold on to this one because I do like to mix this one with foundations that are a little bit too deep for me. So I am gonna hold on to that one. I do really enjoy that one when I need to custom found uh, customize foundations. This is also a new one. This is from Neutrogena. This is the Oil-Free Acne Correct and Cover Grapefruit Moisturizer. I have not tried this yet. Ooh. I picked this up that is absolutely the wrong color for me so I will be decluttering this and anything I declutter friends and family get first dibs on that one's almost new I do really like this CoverGirl clean matte sometimes I just use that with a little bit of powder so I will be keeping that one I know that I will be decluttering just because it is so old is the Ulta flawless prime this is a great primer you can see how old it is it's green so it's really good for redness but this is one of those really like silicone dimethicone type foundation I mean type primers that's really good for neutralizing redness but it is so old I really do like this and I don't reach for it anymore I probably will repurchase this eventually but for now this one's getting tossed I do have two of the Maybelline Master Prime face studios I have the blur and illuminate which I like because I do have dry skin and I have the blur and smooth which I do like because I'm you know getting some wrinkles but I wish that I could just get the blur illuminate and smooth and it would be my ideal primer but I am keeping both of those I do really like both of those I am keeping my wet n wild cover all primer this is really good it's more of a moisturizing primer for me so it's really just about helping um, my foundation go on a little bit smoother plus I want to start my series up again where I do wet n wild Wednesdays where I use all wet n wild products everything wet n wild everything so I this is one of my kind of all-time favorite primers when I'm really really super dry this just really helps my makeup go on a little bit smoother because it's that ad added layer of moisture I am keeping my baby skin I do really like this primer it's one of those silicone type primers that is very very comparable to the 
um, Smashbox photo finish. This is almost done, so this will be in an empties video soon. This one's almost done as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish those up, and I probably would repurchase both of them just so I have a high-end and a drugstore option. This is also a repurchase. This is my L'Oreal Youth Code Pore Vanisher. This um, is just amazing. I love this stuff. I use this um, sometimes just as skincare, and sometimes I'll use it just in um, as a primer, but I do keep it in with my primers, and I think it's such a good product. It really does smooth away pores. I like to use this right kind of around my nose area where my pores tend to be the biggest, so that is really good drugstore primer slash skincare or pore vanisher. I'm going to keep my more lotiony primers in here with my BB creams, and I'm going to keep kind of my more silicone, dimethicone type primers in here and illuminating primers. That's how I'm going to do it. It's going to make sense in my head. So this is new. I just talked about this in my favorites video if that's up already. If not, it will be up shortly. This is the new Urban Decay Optical Illu uh, Illusion Complexion Primer. This is soothing. It's got rosehip and argan oil, and it's pore perfecting. So it's one of those silicone type primers or dimethicone feeling primers, but it adds some moisture and hydration to my face, and I feel like this is the only primer that where I get the best of both worlds. I've really been enjoying this lately, so I am definitely keeping that. This is kind of like a hidden gem for me. This is the Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer Serum from um, Hard Candy. I really, really like this stuff, and I use this. I do reach for it. It's a little bit thicker than a, like a, a serum, but I do feel like it really does a good Okay, my card just got full, so I'm not sure where it ended, but I am keeping the Pore Defense Primer Serum from Heart Candy. I am also keeping my Magic Lumi um, from L'Oreal. I like this when I want... I like to mix matte foundations with a more illuminating primer and vice versa. I just feel like I get the perfect balance that way, so I am keeping that since I like to wear a lot of matte foundations in the wintertime. I do have a sample of the Hangover RX, which I will be buying a full size of this when I run out. It is so good. It's a more moisturizing lotion type primer. It smells like coconut. And I feel like this has like a slight tightening effect to my skin, so I will be keeping this. I really do like that as well. Another illuminating primer I have is I have the sample of the Becca Backlight Filter Primer, right? Priming Filter. Another great illuminating primer. Um, I am gonna use up that sample because I do like that primer so far. This is, um. This next one is also really interesting. This is the Mineral Veil um, or Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass. It's a little interesting. It's almost got a nice slip to it, but it's very moisturizing as well. It's another kind of just very interesting primer that doesn't fit in any kind of category um, like the Urban Decay, so I will be keeping that. I will be keeping the Stila One uh, One Step Corrector. I love this. It's, I like to use this in conjunction in conjunction with other primers, especially when I have a little bit of redness um, around my face. I do really like that. It helps with discoloration. This primer I absolutely love, but it is almost dead. Like that. I still have a little bit, but this is going to be in an empties video very soon, and I will be repurchasing this. The MAC Prep and Prime is probably one of my favorite primers. You want to talk about something that's going to last all day long. I have used this on brides in the Virginia and Texas heat, and it does not fail me, so I will be keeping that. I will be finishing it up, and then I will be repurchasing it. It is so good. Another primer I do want to keep just because it's one of those more kind of lotion-type primers that's just really good and it adds a layer of moisture to my skin that I really do like just to create a nice smooth base. This is the Shea Moisture Primer, um, and I, I use this very much the same way I use this one. So on days when I'm just feeling a little extra dry, I do like both of these because I feel like it just adds that extra layer of moisture to my skin. One more primer that I am going to get rid of is the Neutrogena or Garnier 5 Second Blur Skin Renew Instant Smoother. This one works very much like the L'Oreal Youth Code. Um, I This one is pretty much done. It's out. So I will be tossing this one, but it, these work very much the same. I think this one's a little bit cheaper than this one, but I think this one, I don't know, it does a little bit more of the pore vanishing, so I probably won't repurchase this one. I'll just repurchase that one. And then I have the baby skin, which is right along right along the same line. So I am get rid, getting rid of three primers, but keep in mind, I did toss like four or five not too long ago, so not too bad. As far as powders, I am keeping all of these. 
Um, I've got the e.l.f. High Definition um, Powder, which I really do like. I think it's a really underrated powder in the drugstore. I have the Laura Mercier, which I need to try more. I got this from in, uh, Influencer. I wasn't really impressed with it underneath the eyes, but I need to try it all over the face. And then I have my two Cody Air Spuns, which I love. I have the Translucent Extra Coverage just for all over my face. And underneath my eye, I love the Naturally Neutral. It's actually what I was wearing in my video today. I feel like this powder blends in so beautifully underneath my eyes. It brightens up really well. So I I am keeping that plus they're like six bucks so we're keeping them all right guys so this drawer right here is where most of the damage is going to occur so I'm just gonna leave them in here we're just gonna go this way so I do have two of the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin I love these I have classic ivory and I have porcelain these are both staying because I just love them and I have them in two separate shades because I like to mix them up we're just gonna go from there okay so I am keeping the the better skin now I also love the Maybelline the original Superstay Better Skin I absolutely love this this is so let me see I'm gonna smell this hold on this still smells good. I am gonna keep this because I'm almost, I'm like halfway through it. This used to be like my ride or die. Like I loved this more than the Revlon Color Stay, but I am going to keep this one and finish that one up. I do love that foundation. Speaking of the Revlon Color Stay, I do have three of these. I do have three of these. I have Nude, I have Ivory, and then I have Natural Tan. I like a range of these because I do use these in my kit. So I will be keeping both of those. I really do like those foundations. I think the Maybelline Superstay um, and the Superstay Better Skin are probably my favorites over the Revlon Color Stay, but I do like to use those on brides. I do have two of the Fit Me foundations. I've got the Matte and Poreless in the shade. What shade is this? Ivory, and then I have 225. This is back when I used to hang out at the pool all the time. This is in the shade, I don't even remember what shade this is, 225. This one is way too dark for me. I do not use this on brides and it's really old, so I will be tossing this foundation. I have my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Can you see how much I've used in this? I will not be getting rid of this because it is amazing and I'm keeping it. I will be keeping my new CoverGirl um, Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I love that foundation. It's so good, I just did a review on it. Amazing. I will be keeping my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Nude Ivory just for my Wet n Wild um, series. I, this is not like my favorite foundation ever. I think I need to give this more of a go, but I feel like this oxidizes really bad on me. I feel like this foundation oxidizes really bad on me, but I need to try it out more. I've only worn it a couple times, but I was just like, first time I wore it, I was in New York and I was like, I don't like this. And I kind of washed my face and redid it because I just did not like the way it came out. So that will be going. This is also an older foundation, but again, guys, I keep it in a cool, dark place. This is the Nearly Naked from Revlon. I don't think you can get this anymore. I'm in the shade 150 Nude and this has got a broad spectrum SPF. It's because I, it's a little bit deeper because I use it during the summertime. Um, I love that it has a foundation. I mean, it has a SPF in it. I love this foundation. It is so good. It's so beautiful, natural on the skin. So I will be keeping that. I will also be keeping my uh, Dream Liquid Mousse in the shade Natural Ivory. I love mixing this with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin in, um, in porcelain. I just think this makes such a beautiful combination. So I will be keeping that as well. I will be keeping my Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation just because I love, love it. It's an old school like ride or die favorite. I do have two of the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundations. I have, I finally found it in Classic Ivory, which I'm going to keep because Shell Beige, even though I used it a bunch, is too deep for me and I have to mix foundations, which makes it too heavy. So I will be giving that one away. In that same vein, I will be using, keeping the Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I will be giving away the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I'm in the shade 110. This just, I felt like, did not wear well on me. It broke down really bad. I never reach for it. It's just sitting in my door, so I will be giving this away. I'm kind of torn on these. I feel like I need to wait for the summertime to, to really try these out. I really do like this foundation, but I can't wear them during the wintertime because they get too cakey on me. So I am going to be keeping these and wear them throughout the summertime um, just to see if I still love them. And if I don't use them a whole bunch, I will be giving these away. But I do have the shades Classic Ivory and Porcelain, and I like to mix those. I do have two of the Fit Me Sticks um, from Maybelline. I have 110 Porcelain and... 
330 um, toffee. I use these to contour. These are so old um, and I don't use them to contour because I'm really just not into cream contouring that much anymore. Um, and if I am, I have some other options. So these are getting tossed. Both of these are also going. This is the Double Duty Primer and Foundation from Ulta and Natural Buff. And these are the Color Instincts, which is a shade adjusting foundation in light. These are so old. I never reach for them anymore. They're getting tossed. This is the Nuance Liquid Foundation um, from Selma Hayek. I love the way this foundation looks on the skin. I just don't like the fact that it does not set down on the skin. Um, it's just, even on my dry skin, it still feels really, really just tacky. So I will be passing this on, see if somebody else can get some use out of it. This is the W7 High Definition HD Foundation. I am in the shade, what shade am I in? I don't know what shade I'm in. Oh, buff. Um, I want to try out this foundation a little bit more. I do want to keep some more kind of fuller coverage foundation. So I am going to try this and see how it goes. I'll, I'll have to make a decision um, like I would with the velvet ones. So see if I want to keep that. I'm going to get rid of the Rimmel Stay Matte. It's, it's old. I don't use it anymore. This is in true ivory. And it's just, yeah, it's old. It needs to, it needs to be tossed. I did just get this MBA Cosmetics Matte Finish Oil-Free Foundation in light beige. I am keeping that. Um, I do have two of the clean makeups from CoverGirl in classic beige and warm beige. I am get rid of, getting rid of these. I never reach for those anymore. That used to be like my ride or die when I was in high school. I am going to go ahead and just keep the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. Um, I do not like this foundation in regards to how it wears. It does not wear very well. Um, it breaks on me within a couple. It breaks down on me within a couple hours. But if I'm filming, sometimes I want just a more heavy duty kind of flawless foundation and it does photograph and film really well so I will keep it for that no shame in my game I will tell you guys um this is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro HD foundation this is a, a thicker foundation I need to give this a kind of more of a go um it is a good shade for me this is in the shade 103 I think that's all it's called. So I will be trying this out. I'll be trying this out, kind of these three right here, the MBA Cosmetics and the HD from W7 kind of all remind me, they're kind of all in that same type of family. So we'll be trying those out to see which ones I wanna keep. I do have a MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I will be passing this one on. I like this foundation, but it just oxidizes so bad on me. It's not a good color for me. This is in the shade NW15. I feel like I need a less, super lighter shade because I feel like the, this oxidizes so mad, bad. So I will be passing that on. And of course, I've got my Naked Skin from Revlon. I mean, from Urban Decay. I will be keeping this. This is the Revlon Color Stay Two in One um, Foundation. I loved the idea of this, but I do not like the product. It's just, it's just not. I don't know. It just looks really dry and separates really bad on the skin. So I will be passing that along. This is the ELF DHD Mattifying Foundation. This is in the shade Porcelain, which first off, can we talk about that shade? That is, that is very yellow for my skin tone, so I will be passing that along. I will be keeping both my Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundations. I'm in 10 in the Maybelline and N2 in the L'Oreal. These are very similar. I really think these are the same product, but I do like them on light foundation day, so I will be keeping that. I love the Dream Matte Smooth Mousse. This is a nude beige. I will be keeping this. It's not even opened yet. I do love that foundation. I think it's great. I will be going ahead and getting rid of the um, Dream Smooth Mousse or Dream Mousse Matte Mousse. I really like this foundation. It's just the wrong color for me and it is really old. So I will be tossing this foundation. Um, I did get the City Color Flawless Natural Loose Powder. I do not like this powder. It gets in my eyes. It gets everywhere. I'm just not... Actually, no, I'm thinking, uh, never mind. I'm confusing it with this city color. I'm going to get rid of this one. This one flies everywhere and gets in my eyes. I tried to use it for an under eye setting powder and I just didn't like it. I think this one, I think I need to try this one more. I'm gonna put this one in here. So next time I reach for my Cody Airspun, I'll have it, it'll be right there. This is my Bare Minerals um, Fairly Light Powder. This stuff is so old, guys. I need to just get rid of this. That needs to be tossed. I know I just recently talked about some powders that I absolutely love. I do have the Naked Skin. There are two more hanging out back there. I love this, that's not going anywhere. This is the Super Stay Better Skin. I need to try this foundation, uh, this powder more because it's so nice and I just never reach for it. 
I do love the coverall. This is in the shade Fair Light or Light Medium, which I believe is the lightest shade. This is such a great powder, full coverage powder from the drugstore. We'll be keeping my e.l.f. We'll be keeping my NARS. You guys know how I feel about the Fit Me, so I'm keeping that. True Match, all of those were in that video. The uh, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, I will be keeping. This powder, you cannot get any more. This is the Light Medium Multitasker Powder from Milani. I love this powder. I take this powder on vacation a lot with me because it just, I don't know, I just, I like to, certain things I just love to travel with and I don't know why. This is the CoverGirl All Day Outlast. This powder is super matte. So not, most of these powders, you'll find kind of add a little bit of luminosity to the skin or natural glow, if not luminosity. Natural finish is what I'm trying to say. This is one is super, super matte. So I will keep that one just because I don't have a lot of mattifying powders. This one is from Shea Moisture. Um, I do like this one. I'm keeping that one too. Guys, I just never know what I'm gonna reach for. Don't judge me. I will be keeping the Photo Focus, um, what is this, Photo, yeah, Photo Focus Foundation Powder. This has got a beautiful, nice, kind of luminous coverage. I will be keeping my Rimmel Stay Matte because, because I want to. I'm trying to find a use for this Laura Geller Powder, guys. I'm trying to find, because it's just so, I just, I can't get rid of it yet, it's so pretty. This is the e.l.f. HD Translucent Pressed Powder. Um, I need to put this with the NARS because I need to try that out. I want to do a high-low comparison. I haven't really formed a, an opinion on that one yet. And then this is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Powder in Light. And I really like this powder as well. So I will be keeping this powder. All right, guys. So this is now my collection primers, powders, and the foundation drawer, which looks a whole lot better. All right, guys, so this is what I got rid of. I got rid of 15 foundations, two powders, and three primers, which I think is pretty good. I'm really proud of the foundations. I was really kind of cutthroat with that, which is what I was not expecting. But guys, I hope you enjoy, enjoy this declutter video. Let me know um, if I got rid of anything that you love or that if I kept anything that you hate because I always love to know PETA is helping. But guys, thanks so much for hanging out talking about makeup with me. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!